This is Brad with Campbell Security Screens, and today we're going to show you how to measure for and install a single swinging door security screen. This particular uh, application that we're working on today is going to be addressing how to install a measure and install a three-sided or four-sided security frame. And I'm going to go through the step process of you know how to measure the critical parts to making this particular door system work on this door application. So I'm going to start off by uh, going through the, the measuring process. There's two options with this. There's either what we call a four-sided frame, which would fasten on all four sides of the door, or there's a three-sided frame, which fastens on three sides, obviously, and there wouldn't be anything on the bottom. And the only reason that we would have a bottom frame is if we didn't have to be concerned about any type of trip hazard at the bottom of the door. So you always want to make sure you clarify this with the homeowner, what kind of uh, problems they might experience if you had this frame where they had to step over it. So it's just something you want to clarify when uh, you're talking to your customer. This particular profile here is an excellent tool to use on the opening because we can mount our screens either on the inside like this or on the outside. The, the premium door frame is really designed as a surface mount and if it's a surface mounted system, the screws are concealed behind the screw cap cover after the door's been installed. So there's no exposed screws. If it's an inside mount, the screws would actually mount through the inside of the frame to the wood structure itself. And the only time that you would see the heads of the screws would be when the door is actually, when the security door is actually opened. In this case here, we're gonna mount a surface mount system and just like with our sliding doors, the swinging doors are the same principle. And the rule of thumb is that you only want to go over one inch from the inside dimension to the outside on each side. So from the inside dimension, which in this case is always going to be the dimension that is the shortest in the width and in the height, and then you're going to add an inch to each side so there'd be two inches overall for an outside mount system. And the reason we're going to put this on the outside, as you can see, there's very little distance from the front door to this surface right here. And even at that, you know, this opening has to be built out to allow the door to actually not come in contact with the handle hardware. Same rule of thumb on swinging doors that it is for sliding doors. You take the highest measurement of your door handle. In this case here, it just happens to be the thumb button on the door handle is the tallest point of this door. So we want to measure from the bottom to that thumb turn or the thumb knob there. And then we're going to add four inches because we want to move our handle hardware up away from that thumb latch. And we're going to measure it using the shortest dimension in this opening. So I'm going to start with the width in three places at the top, middle, and the bottom. We're going to do our height that we want our door to be, and we're going to start on the left, and the middle, and the right. This particular door application, the homeowner is uh, opting for a three-sided frame, so our frame is going to come down on the left side and the right side, and there won't be anything for the door to go against other than the sweep at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and we're going to measure for our width of our door. And this is going to be the overall width of this door. It's what we would call a net size width that we're looking for. And once again, we're going to take the measurements in three locations and we're going to take that shortest dimension and that's going to be our net size. And that's what we're going to record on our order form. So I'm going to start here in the middle. I'm going to place this to this outside edge because I know that that is a one inch piece of molding there. That's where I need to go on the outside. I'm going to extend this over to the other side of the edge of that molding and I'm going to lock this in place and that's going to be my measurement so far is 37 and a quarter. Then I'm going to go to the top and I'll do the same thing and I can see that this is shorter. So I want to adjust it to that shorter dimension. So it looks like it's like 37 and an eighth at the top. Now I'll do the same thing at the bottom. 
and we're at the same dimension. So in this particular case, our shortest dimension is 37 and an eighth. And that's the measurement we would want to record on our form. It's a net measurement. And so now what we'll do is we'll measure the height. I have another measuring stick that works for the height, a little bit longer. And this I'm going to place on the very left-hand side first and see where we are to the top edge of that trim. And I'm going to lock this in place. And once again, our measurement is right here. So it tells me that we're at 81 inches right there. And I can do the same thing on the other side. And I'm even here. And although I'm sitting on top of the concrete there a little bit, and I'm not up against the wood trim, I'm going to shorten this up just a skosh because it's a little bit too long if I did it at 81. So it looks like this measurement here on this is going to be 80 and 15 sixteenths. And we can actually make that door to that dimension. All of our security screens are all custom, so fractions of an inch are not a problem for us. So that's the dimension we would go with uh, on this particular application. So we're going to go with that shorter between the two. And when we're looking at our doors, no matter if it's a swinging door, a sliding door, or if it's a window, we're always on the outside, we're always looking in, and the handle would be based on outside looking in on the left, or it's going to be on the right. So uh, we're going to make our, record our measurements on our order form. The next step we're going through is measuring for the handle height, and uh, we're going to measure from the bottom of where the door is going to be at the bottom next to the concrete here, and we're going to go up to the very top of this thumb button on the door, and this happens to be 37 and a half inches. And no matter what that dimension is, whether it's this point on a door, whether it's something else that's on the door or something that's in the way, whatever that highest point is, you want to add four inches to that height. And that's just the rule of thumb on swinging doors because we're more concerned about making sure that we move that handle lever and also the thumb turn that's on the back side of the door away from coming in contact with the entry hardware. We went ahead and we did a test fit here, kind of what we would call a dry fit, and everything is just exactly the way we measured for it when we first came out the measure for this door. And so the next step we're going to go through now is we'll take the door off of the open temporarily. I'm going to take the door off of the door frame we're ready to adjust the hinge side here, and we always mount the hinge side first. We make sure the hinge side is plumb. Then after we have the hinge side plumb, then we're going to go up and we're going to make sure that we're at a 90 degree or level at the top. And the last section that we installed is, so to speak, the free swinging side on the left side. So right now, I'm going to just double check and make sure we're plumb and everything looks good. I pre-drilled a hole for mounting this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mount that in place. We'll double check and make sure we're still good. It looks very good. So now I also put a, I pre-drilled a hole for the bottom to anchor the bottom. Double check it again. We're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the top of our door frame is square. Oh, we're looking very good. So now I'm going to go over and I'm going to tag the other side so we make sure this stays straight. So now I'm going to put the door on the bottom hinge. I'll slide the door up to where it was. For shipping and packing purposes, the hardware comes separate from the door. So go ahead and install that now. Once that part is completed, snap the decorative covers over the screw heads around the perimeter of the door. And that concludes the installation of your brand new Campbell security screen door.